What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nickens Lawn and Landscape. The past couple videos have been all about the skid steers and landscaping. This one is all about lawn care and we are bringing you the lawn care setup 3.0. Now if you're new or you just started following us, you're probably wondering what 3.0 means. Even if you have been following us for a while, you may still be confused. Some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but this is our third lawn care setup that we have run this year. We started with a box trailer. Then we got our box truck uh, pretty much right away into the season. We only used the box trailer for about a month. Then we went to the box truck, and then we sold the box truck to Kevin. I'll leave a link to a little bit of that video right here. Um, and then we had to get another setup, and we went with the open trailer. I started out a long time ago with the open trailers. Uh, then I progressed into an enclosed trailer, and then we went with the box truck. Um, but I always did like open trailers. I never had anything against them. My main reason for getting an enclosed trailer the first time was for storage purposes, being able to keep my equipment out of the weather, keep it safe, keep it secure. Um, so that was my main reason going with that. Uh, but when I bought my property and was able to build my shed, uh, that wasn't as important to me anymore um, or just wasn't such a, a vital key. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you got an enclosed trailer and you are operating out of a two-car garage, that's what I was doing. Uh, that enclosed trailer is huge because you can store a lot of stuff in there and uh, you can keep things organized. And we had trouble unloading too. Uh, we had a weird unloading situation, so it just made things so much easier to have an enclosed trailer at that time. But uh, things changing going down the road, um, you know, it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't as vital to our operation. Uh, and then going with the box truck earlier this year, that was because we were mowing a ton uh, and I had planned to have guys out mowing while I was doing landscaping with my brother and we had all kinds of issues with that. It just didn't really ever work out as we planned. Um, I did, I was able to stay out of the mowing a little bit, but we just could never, could never cr quite find uh, the right full-time employees. So that never ended up working out. I ended up mowing a bunch uh, and having to turn down some landscaping stuff and that wasn't cool. So what I ended up doing was dropping some mowing customers. I gave them all uh, a little bit of notice, but I dropped some mowing customers. Like I said, we ended up selling the box truck to Kevin with Fall River down in Arkansas. Um, and we just weren't mowing as much. So this open trailer is perfect and it's actually uh, come in handy quite a few times since we've had it for landscaping purposes. Um, we obviously used it for aeration and seeding. Uh, if you follow us on Instagram, you saw those pictures and you saw us running around with this. Uh, but we put a lot of straw on it. Um, you saw that in a couple of our videos. And we put the straw blower on it. So that was uh, very handy. And it was definitely, uh, definitely nicer than it would have been on the flatbed. Um, so it has come in handy. And I'm liking it. I'm digging it. Uh, and it's, it's pretty close to the setup that I had back in the day. So let me show you what we got going on here. It is raining, so I'm going to try to make this quick, but I will show you everything we got and how we set it up. So what we've got here is a 16-foot, it's a Retco. They fabricate these in Sykeston, Missouri. Um, nothing special to it, really. It's got 3,500-pound axles, brakes on one axle. Uh, we got a spare. It is a dovetail. Um, and then it's just got a little, I think this is a three foot gate. Um, one special thing about this is, or different thing about this than I've seen on a lot of other trailers, this is the gate assist. It's like a shock off of a toolbox. I'll try to get a close up for you so you can see this thing. But it's literally like a shock off of a toolbox. And it worked awesome at first, but it's already getting pretty weak. Uh, probably just gonna end up taking it off of there. When we do mow, it's me and my brother, so we can easily lift up this light gate. Uh, it's no big deal. Um, and then up on the front here, I guess this is where we can start on the add-ons. This is a weather guard toolbox. This is actually made for a flatbed truck uh, or something of that sort, some kind of uh, utility truck or trailer. Um, but we made it work on here. We made a homemade frame here. My brother went to school for welding, so he knows how to weld pretty good. We just got some two by two square tubing and some angle made it work and then we ran four bolts uh, one in each corner so that went on there pretty easily um, then obviously we painted this frame black here but this just has our uh, just got oils uh, it's got a tire kit I actually used this today had a flat tire on the walk behind uh, so I used that I got some spare uh, Velke tubes in there some uh, 
these are some more i don't even know what reflectors some triangle reflectors if you break down i got a couple more of those there some steel oil a couple uh ratchet straps nothing special in here just the everyday stuff that we need a lot of it is kind of uh mowing specific like we got the weed eater heads and up in here we got all kinds of little different different things in here different clips and pins and different stuff that we use out while we're mowing so um like i said just all the all the mowing goodies nick's empty seed bag some tools jumper cables uh like i said just everyday stuff got my sticker in there from blades lawn care thanks bro got that off uh, instagram i got a few more stickers that uh, i need to put on here i just haven't got a chance and i still got some mail that i think there's a couple more stickers in the mail so uh, hopefully we'll get those on there soon they're all going to go in that toolbox um for the gas cans we got the no spill uh we got two of the small ones and then we got one big one and then we got those uh housed in the green touch racks those are very nice uh, previously to these i never had any gas can racks i always just put them in the back of the truck or uh, rig something up on the trailer so these are very nice to have uh keep some very sturdy and easy to fill up easy access i think that one's a little loose i think i need to tighten that uh -oh. got the green touch trimmer line rack there too uh, very convenient right here by the trimmers so we can grab our string uh, before we grab the trimmer and head off to do work uh, and then the trimmers these are the steel fs 94r i love these things i think this is number four and five that i've had of these 94s um, and not because i wore them out uh, two of them actually got stolen i made a video on that and then uh, one of them fell off a truck I th we think that's what happened or got left at a property and stolen uh, but we think it somehow fell off the back of the truck when we had stuff piled up um, but that's that's that and then uh, those are in the green touch racks as well uh, the same series as the gas can racks obviously the lime green uh, those are really nice the newer style that come with the engine mounts uh, if you guys are running trimmer racks and you don't have engine mounts i would strongly suggest figuring out a way to mount these up without these these heads shake around a ton and you will get bent shafts eventually uh the blowers we are again with steel um got the br 700s got two of those we really like these blowers we bought both of them as soon as they came out and they've been great for us haven't had an issue with either one knock on wood and again these are housed in the green touch rack these are the bps 100 uh very stout racks i actually saw something on uh, uh i don't know i don't know who posted it i think it was on instagram but i saw something where someone got in an accident they had one of these and they had a br 600 in it and the rack got totally mangled this was all broken off this was all broken and bent and the blower was perfectly fine so someone got in an accident totaled their trailer and it didn't even hurt the blower so not only are those nice to have to keep your blower out of the way and secure but they actually protect it too so uh very very cool on that um of them i thought that was super cool that that it didn't destroy the blower i was actually kind of amazed by that uh but those racks are super nice i like them i haven't had any issues with them uh and then for the mower we have the ferris fw 35 walk behind 52 inch with the kawasaki engine this thing is a money maker guys it's uh for for commercial mowers nowadays this thing is super cheap uh it's under six thousand dollars and or right at six thousand dollars and you can just oh my god the, the amount of stuff that you can do with these things the different kind of properties that you can do um the versatility of a walk behind is just uncomparable everyone who runs walk behind knows that's true but this one is definitely of the higher quality. Uh, it's It's been very, very good to us. It's actually our second one. Uh, we've had a few minor issues, but nothing major. I actually just replaced the uh, deck belt on this one, but I was cutting some stuff that was about 18 inches tall, so uh, probably my fault on that. We got the Wright X2 Velky. I think the decals are wore off of that, so you can't tell, but uh, that's made by Wright, same people who make the mowers, and it's the Model X2. Um, and then we got the grass flap here. For those of you guys that don't know what the grass flap is, it is a foot operated chute uh, blocker. So you basically kick down on this lever right here 
and uh, it will open or close this. So if it's open and you kick down, it'll close it. And if it's closed and you kick down, it'll open it. Um, couldn't really do what we do without that thing. It saves so much time blowing. Uh, and if you're around cars or whatever, you can uh, just keep on chugging right along. You don't really have to worry about it. Uh, so that thing is a must, in my opinion. I think it's it's north of 300 bucks, but uh, like I said, it's it's a game changer. So wouldn't mow without it. Um, and then generally, we have our Ferris Z2 on here. It's also a 52 inch with the Kawasaki engine. Um, again, that thing's a beast. We got almost 700 hours on it. Still running strong, but it's actually in the shop right now. Uh, it was running strong. Um, we had a hydro leak and they uh, confirmed today that the hydro is getting replaced. It's supposed to be done either today or Monday. So uh, hopefully we'll get that thing back soon and be able to mow with it. That's why it's not on here because I don't have it. So um, those of you guys looking at those machines, I'll leave a link right here to uh, the review we did on that last year at some point. Uh, it's a very, very good machine. Again, a money maker for the mowers on the market, comparable mowers. It is cheap. Uh, that one's around, uh, I think, 8,000 new. So comparatively speaking, uh, it's not. It's definitely not one of the most expensive. It's a good machine. So uh, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this setup. If you got any questions, leave those down in the comments, as always. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.